So this, these are all the red tulips over the years when they were in pots. I transplanted them into this bed and they're slightly hit by the frost from this morning. And here we come and the, these are um, geraniums kinds uh, that are hardy. And then here we come through the bluebells and the spiky leaves are old fashioned um, gladioli that are a magenta. There you can see the uh, hellebores. Sorry, the brain is still lambing tired. So we're gonna move through here. Come on, move, dogs. Yes, dogs. And you can hear. Buzzing of bees. Then um, here we come through. This is loads of bluebells along this border. And the tulips that are in here, I never planted. These would have been planted by my grandfather and they are just acclimatized, but they end up coming up after the bluebells. So we get a display going up here of, look at this Japanese maple is so gorgeous. So coming up here, all the bluebells and you can see the tulips. My grandfather's tulips are just beginning to, about to come out. And oh, there that yellow one's come out and all these blue balls underneath this espalier. This is a, which one is this? This is the Newton Wonder. The other espalier tree over there, that's a Bramley, which is a kind of cooker apple. So this is all looking so beautiful. And coming up here, this is the old Victorian um, greenhouse, which I can't afford to renovate. But I love this bed of euphorbia and tulips. It's just fantastic. I definitely, the Japanese anemone, I have to prune out the dead stuff. These are daylilies coming on. Here are the old fashioned traditional uh, tulips, the wild tulips. And then up here, this is the smelly corner. Smelly as in because it smells good. Look at that lilac there. Beautiful lilac. This is from days of yore when it was, um, this was one of the holder uppers for raspberry canes. But this, this bush smells amazing. Oh God, it's heavenly, this bush. And a lot of times it's covered in pollinators because they all love it as well. So that is what's happening in the garden. And dogs are all sniffing about. These are loads of Japanese anemones and bluebells and Russian sage. And then that's my vegetable patch. And right here in the foreground are the bluebells, blueberries, which are flowering. And that's the last of my purple sprouting broccoli there is beginning to go to flower. Oh, and there's a cat. A cat looking at a water that container. Hello, kitty. How are you, time? And you beautiful kitty. Yeah. But everything's beginning to come up. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah. Yes, you beautiful kitty. Okay. Oh, hello. How are you, Shep? No, Shep, please. Hey, hey. Out of the flower bed. Poor old-fashioned wild tulips. Look, there's a hellebore in the middle of that bed. Isn't that right, puppers? And you beautiful kitties and dogs. Yeah. Bluebells galore. Oh, and this is one of our tree peonies, which is just about to flower. 
This bed is kind of, I haven't cleared out the dead stuff yet. The fennel is coming on through though. Loads of plants in here. All these um, marjoram, daisies, sedums, more daisies. Those are the irises down there and the fennel. I haven't cleared this bed yet. There, it's never ending gardening, never ending. Indeed, never ending. So that's a stroll up one side of the garden. This pretty blue flower is coming out now. Look at that, very beautiful. Uh, but sadly, this maple got a bit scalded. Look, it didn't like being here, sadly. Hello, you. So hopefully that Japanese maple will do a recovery because it's not liking right there at the moment. <laughs>